Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to do the solo to Good Times, Bad Times by Led Zeppelin. So we've already taken a look at all the chords and rhythm guitar parts, so make sure you check out that lesson as well. Um, so let's get started here. We're in standard tuning. Uh, this is a, a really good one. It's got some really cool licks in it. So we're going to start here with the kind of the basic blues lick. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to be doing the whole step bend of the 14th fret on the G, and then you're going to be barring the uh, 12th fret and the on across the B and the high E string. So you do that bend, and then quick down up on the uh, those two top strings. Then you do it again, but he hits now he spends a little bit more time on those top strings, but he pretty much just hits the high E, so it goes like this. It's kind of something like that. All right, now he does the bend again and hits those two notes together again, and we have this. Now that's a bend and release of the 14th. So the 12th. And then you play 14, 12 again. All right, so so far we have this. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the 14 twice on the D string, then twice on the G at the 12th fret. So we have this. Then we do the 12, 14, 12 on the G. All right, hold that bend there at that 14 again on the G. While you do that, grab the 15 on the B. Then pick the 14, bring it back down, then to 12, and 14, 12 again. All together. All right, now as he takes his finger off that G string, you hear it kind of ring open there. It's not really, it's more of just kind of a, a slight mistake. So. So don't you can try to recreate it, but that's what's happening. Hear a little noise in there. While we go to this next lick, it's him lifting this finger off the string, and it kind of rings out. Next lick is all right. So this one's a two-step bend and release at the 15th fret on the high E string. And as you release it, you're going to do a quick hammer pull from 12 to 15. Pull that back up to 12. Then you play 15, 12, then a whole step, then at the 15, then play 15, normal, and then you're gonna end it with a quick hammer pull there again, over the 15 on the B, and then do that again. And then end it with a bend there, the 15 on the B. So we have this all together. Now I have this cool lick. Here we go. Alright, so that's going to be sliding into the 14th fret on the um, A string. So we get a little pattern after that. You're going to play 14, 12, 14 on the A. And then 12 on the D to 14 on the A. Back to that 12 on the D. So these little three note groups. Now I continue that pattern up. You're still in the D string, 14, 12, 14. And then once again, 12 on the G to 14 on the D. Back to that 12. So it's the same pattern there. Then continue doing that now on the G string, 14, 12, 14. And then continuing the lick. And now this, the fingering has changed a little bit, the frets at least. 12, 15, 12. I mean, 15, 12, 15. And then. All 
Then the whole side bend at the 15. Release. 12. 15 on the B. Then back to that 15 on the B. Then you're gonna move. You're kind of doing a whole step bend there at the 17 and releasing it to a half step bend. Then 15 to 17 on the B. Slowly. All right, this last lick is... All right, so that's just doing kind of, doing a lot of that whole step, half step, bending and releasing again all from the 15th fret on the high E string with your first finger. And then we had to play 17 real quick. That are bend there for the 15th. Resolve to the 17th fret on the B and then play 17, 15. Then, now you're doing that all two steps bend again there at the 17th fret on the, um, so it's gonna sound like this, basically four frets higher. And then the 15th fret. So we have this. Uh... All right, and that's about it. So make sure you check out the other lesson, uh, showing you all the cool rhythms and stuff to this, and then uh, put it together with a solo and you got it nicked. All right, I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.